and welcome to another episode of Mondays with Mardos. I'm Gerard and today we're going to talk about dry boxing a cigar. But before I get on that topic, I need you to click on that subscribe button, click on the bell to be notified every single week of new episodes on Mondays with Mardos. All right, so we get the question of what is dry boxing a cigar? There may be several reasons why people do this, but I'm gonna to stick to two reasons of why we do it. One of them is something I experienced last week. I was having a cigar at night. In between the second and the last third, I was noticing it was hard to keep it lit, and I could tell the jaw was getting a little bit more mushy, and it was hard to draw because I noticed that it was an overhumidified cigar. So the next day, I had the same exact cigar, and what I did is I placed it on the workbench and I just let it dry out in open air. I know the right thing to do is putting it in a wooden box and waiting for it two or three days, but I wanted to experiment and see if it would actually help. That night, I took that cigar, cut it, and when I smoked it, it smoked beautifully. So I successfully dried out a cigar a little bit because it overhumidified, and that is the reason why I did that. So I hope that helps you, and we're going to move on to second reason. So reason number two why you dry box a cigar is to remove the knot within the cigar. How does this happen? Well, if you look at a fresh cut wooden log, you're going to see that it's very beautiful. It's got moisture in it. However, when this log is drying out, what's happening is the wood is separating from each other because the moisture is leaving when it's being set out in open air. The same concept in a cigar. Whenever you have a knot within a cigar and it's being dry boxed or box dried, the leaves are separating from each other because the moisture is being removed. So therefore, it will loosen it up a little bit and it becomes a lot easier for you to smoke the cigar. These are the two reasons why I dry box a cigar. Let me know in the comments what is the tactic that you do in order to dry box a cigar. Other than that, I'm Gerard. I'll see you next week on Mondays with Marlos. But before I get going, remember, to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See ya.